Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've done roster changes, but now we're in between the fall and winter splits, so it's that time of the offseason, though it may be very short. You guys may remember the last time I had a lot of roster changes and we had the tidal wave. Now I'm literally drowning in roster changes. There's so many things to go over, so I'll definitely have two videos. I'll be going over all of the North American changes, plus a couple of OCE changes, and in the next episode, I'll be going over all the European changes. There definitely have been a lot more European changes than North American changes. Alright, let's get into the video. Starting with E-United, we have a tweet on October 21st. They say... EURL update. We would like to thank Hoxar RL for his contributions over our first year in RL Esports. From qualifying for Worlds to staving off relegation, Kobe has been a key piece of E United Rocket League and we wish him the best with X set. And speaking of X set, we have a tweet from them. On October 21st, they say X set welcomes Hoxar RL to the Rocket League squad. And if we look at Liquipedia, we can see that E United is now Ajax, One Mike, and Tristan. Tristan has been here for a little while now, and Hoxer was just inactive, so he's finally on a different team and playing. And then if we look at Xset, we can just see that Hoxer replaced t -Carell. Okay, now moving over to the Sonics. On October 21st, the Sonics tweeted, Today we have parted ways with Sathu. As one of the original members of our Rocket League team, we're grateful for the countless ways he's contributed to the program. We wish him the best in his future endeavors. And then we have a tweet from Sathu. He says, retiring from competitive Rocket League, and he has a twit longer, and if we read that, it says, Following today's announcement of my release from Sonics, I wanted to let everyone know that this is where I also end my career in competitive play. I had a career that I'm proud of, but I've been longing for something more that I think is found in continuing my university education full-time. And if I want to pursue that, then I believe now's the time to call it quits. If you want to know more about why I'm making this decision, keep on reading. Rocket League has brought me so much joy over the past few years. Being able to be recognized at an international level for something so competitive was a new feeling to me. Meeting so many people from so many backgrounds online and at LANs was amazing, and going from team to team taught me so many things that I should be able to bring into the next phase of my life. I learned a lot from people who saw things differently than I did in and out of the game. I thank all my teammates for the experience they gave me. I'm proud of everything that I've done up to this point. While there will always be things I'd go back and change, I'm confident in a majority of the steps I took to further my career up to this point. I'm extremely happy with climbing through the ranks of RLRS and RLCS, getting dropped, and doing it once more with a brand new team. I'm happy about retaining a spot in RLCS with each of those teams, as well as finding representation and being compensated both times. It really was a surreal feeling to make money and travel to different countries because of this game. Unfortunately, my drive for competition in this game seemed to have been waning for a little bit, and I think it's time to transfer that to another part of my life. I want to better my physical and mental health while also having the time to go out and socialize a bit more, as I missed out on a decent amount of that while playing in RLRS and RLCS during my first three years at university. I want to start securing my long-term future a bit more, as I know it didn't lie in playing Rocket League, nor can it coexist with it. To those who have always supported me, thank you. You've given me a platform, and this is weird small sense of stardom in a way. Having people recognize you in game and in real life was a crazy experience, and it played a part in wanting to get better at the game. To the many close friends I've made while playing the game, thank you. I've made some lifelong friends that are great people that I will continue to support in their endeavors, and I can't wait to see what the scene blooms into over the next few years. As for me, I might look into coaching or other opportunities within the scene, but that is to be determined. Love all of you so much, the time we spent together was wonderful. Sat you. And now continuing with the Sonics, we have a tweet from Mitz Evo. He says, departure from Sonics, and he is a twit longer. He says, today I'm announcing my departure from Sonics. A bit bittersweet as I was originally part of the Afterthought roster that originally saw WSOE, two seasons of RLRS, and now two seasons of RLCS under Sonics. My time with the team is something I'll never forget, and I'm very happy that I was blessed with the opportunity to be involved in competing in such a stage for one of the best video games of all time. I've had some great memories with so many people and a handful of lands that have really helped shape my career. I'm happy with the work I've done with the team up to this point, and I'm happy to completely pass the torch onto Roldiz to manage and coach this team to victory. That being said, 
I'm not sure what the future holds for me. I have plans to move to Austin in January or February, which could definitely shape how things turn out. I'm considering going back to my original craft of videography and content creation, but I'll also be looking around in the Rocket League scene to see what there is to offer. I'm currently looking for a team to any coaching opportunities or general manager positions being offered. Good luck to the Sonics boys going forward. I'll be cheering you guys on from the audience. And if we look on Wikipedia, we can see that as of October 21st, Sathu left and retired, then Mitsivo leaves, and Roldis stepped down to the coaching and managing role. Now we have a tweet from Shift RL Esports. On October 31st, they said, After a turbulent end to the split and the departure of Sathu, Tikarel has finalized a deal to join the roster of Shock and J Rust. He most recently showcased his talents on the Exet roster towards the end of the fall split. Now we have a tweet from Jules, responding to a tweet from Ground Zero. So Ground Zero said, Ground Zero today bids farewell to a legend. Jules is an inspiration beyond comparison. His will and commitment to the Ground Zero family will be something we are forever grateful for. Best of luck, Tom, with your future endeavors. And Jules replied, was a great ride with Ground Zero OCE over the past year and a half, but all good things come to an end eventually. More importantly, I wish Express, Amphis, and Jimma the best of luck moving forward. You guys will still kill it without me. And then we have a tweet from Torsos responding to another tweet from Ground Zero. They say, today we officially welcome Torsos to the Ground Zero family. Torsos is an incredible talent with years of experience playing at the top of the scene in Rocket League for Oceania. You'll see his first official debut tonight in the RLO Masters. And if we look on Liquipedia, we can see that with Ground Zero, we have Torsos joins replacing Jules. And if we look on Liquipedia for Cringe Society, we can see that actually Jules joined them replacing Torsos. So Torsos and Jules just switched places. Finally, what you've all been waiting for, one of the largest changes in North America this offseason, we have a tweet from Kronovi. The last time he changed rosters was when he left G2 for Rogue, and now he's leaving Rogue. He says, leaving Rogue and what it means for my future, and he's a twit longer. He says, hey everyone, as I'm sure you already saw, I am no longer playing for Rogue. There's a few topics I want to cover in this post, but I'll try to keep it short. Some of it is negative, but most of it is positive for my future, and I promise I'm going to be happier in the long run. First, I want to start off with the reason why I left. As I'm sure most people can guess, the team environment was far from perfect. Personalities on the team clashed quite a bit, and it often led to animosity during practice and or live games. Before the major happened, I had a talk with our manager. I told him if we couldn't overcome the hurdles we had tripped on at all the other regionals, then I would like to be put up for transfer or be released. I felt like the three of us on Rogue had hit our peak, and I was tired of trudging through practice with a team that I know wanted to replace me that couldn't even compete with the top four. As bad as that paragraph sounds, I'm not really that upset, and I wish everyone at Rogue the best of luck, especially the staff. I was always treated well and taken care of as a player, and I really hope to see Rogue never leave the Rocket League scene because players would be lucky to have them. I'm mainly just more disappointed that I couldn't achieve more with the roster while I was on Rogue, and the stagnation of skill and overall team mentality was starting to get to me a little bit. I began to dislike the idea of launching Rocket League, and that hasn't really ever happened to me. One of the biggest reasons for wanting to be a free agent was to find an environment with a positive mentality for Rocket League. I just wanted to feel happy about launching Rocket League, because I still truly love this game and community. I want to be in control of what I do and when I do it. However, I am taking a huge risk by leaving the team this split, and with so little time left on roster lock, odds are I will be forced to take one split off, as almost every other team did their tryouts before the Major. I actually only got to talk to two teams about tryouts, and they went with other players they had been set on before I became a free agent. I'm not happy settling on the current pool of teams that might be available to me last minute, and jumping on a roster moments before the roster lock. Treading water all season sounds like a nightmare, and won't help me look good for the next split. While I wait for the next transfer window, I will be grinding Rocket League and improving my weak areas to be a strong free agent for the 2021 RLCS splits and seasons. It sounds crazy, even to me, but I actually look forward to getting back on the grind and really competing with people for roster spots in the future. I haven't really been in this spot often, but I really wanted to challenge myself to rise above my situation and adopt a positive, long-term focused mentality so I can set up goals and reap the rewards at a later date. I can't help but feeling that the alternative solution was to stay with the team that wasn't happy with me and also made me unhappy until eventually my love and motivation to play Rocket League was stripped away. I know a lot of my fans will be sad that they can't watch me compete this split. Believe me, I'm sad about it too. 
I'm an optimistic person, but having to take a break purely because I chose a bad time to leave the team really does suck. It's also dangerous if I don't grind like I say I will. I need to be in tip-top form to be considered for RLCS roster's next split. My passion and dedication will be tested over the next few months, but I'm going to try my best to overcome any obstacles in my way, and I hope to have your support during the journey. I want this to be an experience I can look back on and be glad I made the gamble instead of a decision I regret because I got lazy. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure this was not my last split. With all that said, I have more time for streaming now, since daily scrims won't take up my time, and I look forward to seeing my community again, since I know I've taken some very long breaks this year from Twitch. Thanks for reading, and I'll see you guys around. And now we can see a tweet from Rogue on Twitter. They say it's Taroko time! Rogue Nation, give a big welcome to our new third, Taroko. And if we look on Lucopedia, we can see that the roster is now First Killer, Toronto, and Taroko with Corrupted G as the coach, and Kronovi left. Now we have a tweet from Team Nefarious. On October 27th, they say Nefarious roster for RLCS X Winter Split. Jay Wismont, Adam, and Stokely with Dangles as the sub and manager. We'll be looking to sign under an organization, so message our Twitter Nefarious RL or Dangles RL. And if we look on Wikipedia, we can see that Buddy left on October 13th, so Stokely joined to replace him. And Stokely came from Stromboli. And if we keep going, we can see there's a tweet from Charlotte Phoenix. They say, today we are announcing the release of Dapper from our Rocket League team. Dapper was a great player and teammate. We wish him the best. We know he'll rise from the ashes. And continuing, we have another tweet from Charlotte Phoenix. They say, help us give Alraz a warm Queen City welcome to our Rocket League roster. We're excited to watch him take flight with Karma, Shadow, and Jimmer. And Alraz also came from Stromboli, so if we look, we can see that on October 27th, Stokely left Stromboli for Nefarious, and Alraz left for Charlotte Phoenix. So this team is broken up, and Chronic is not currently on a team. And we can see on Wikipedia for Charlotte Phoenix, the roster is Karma, Shadow, and Alraz with Jimmer as the coach. Now finishing this set of changes, Kansas City Pioneers tweeted, We would like to welcome Dapper to our RL Esports roster. He'll be joining as our new sub going forward. Let's give him a warm welcome to the squad. And if we look on Wikipedia, we can see that the roster is Rapid, Beast Mode, and Memory, with Dapper as the sub and JG7 as the coach. Now we have a tweet from Sad Jr. On October 27th, he tweeted, With the recent announcements, it's probably clear by now that plot twist, the team will be disbanding, and the players are going separate ways. I hope they reach their goals, and I wish them nothing but the best. I'm glad I got to work with you all, Mektos, Sosa, and Taroko. And now we have a tweet from the Pittsburgh Knights. On October 27th, they said, We'd never just make a so-so addition to our RL Esports team. A so-so addition, though. Please welcome Sosa to PKRL. With this move, we'll be parting ways with Kinsa. We can't thank him enough for his time on the roster and wishing him nothing but the best. And if we look on Wikipedia, we can see that Plot Twist was a North American team that disbanded. And for the Pittsburgh Knights, the roster is now Radoko, ZPS, and Sosa, with Flitz as the sub and McLando as the coach. Now we have a tweet from Crimson Wings Gaming. On October 28th, they tweeted, Please welcome Wonder to the team. He's joining Prime Thunder and Skills as we move forward into Grid Qualifiers and RL Esports Winter Split. This is so exciting because Wonder and Thunder have not been together since 2018, and now they're back. If we look on Wikipedia, we can see on October 28th, Wonder joins the Crimson Wings. So the roster is Skills, Prime Thunder, and Wonder. Now let's reminisce with the old days. In 2018, we had FlyQuest with Prime Thunder, Wonder, and AJ. And now the Wonder-Thunder combo is back together on Crimson Wings, so I'm excited to see how they do together. That is all the changes I have for you. I hope you guys aren't too overwhelmed. There were a ton of changes between the fall and winter splits. I expect to have the European roster changes video out within the next few days. Let me know down in the comments which of these roster changes was the most surprising to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.